Hello and welcome back to Matt's Automotive Channel. Well, I uh, got my seven pin uh, connector that we're gonna wire into the tow package that came with the, uh, the trailer hitch. And um, also got the e-brake controller here, which is gonna ultimately plug into this. And then the trailer will get plugged into the controller. Um, but we first thing we, we need to do is address the wiring on the end of this. So uh, let's talk about this first. Uh, this is a seven pin that I uh, just received the other day. And um, this is actually gonna go in between the tow package wiring harness that came with the trailer hitch and the e-brake controller, the wireless one that we got here. So <clears throat> um, this is pretty straightforward. This is just gonna plug in directly into the uh, harness that came with the trailer hitch. And uh, there's a few other wires here um, that we need to worry about. Some we do, some we don't. Uh, first of all, this yellow wire, I'm not gonna use this one. This one here is an auxiliary wire, 12 volt, that normally gets hooked up to your reverse lights. And the purpose of that is, well, if your trailer has reverse lights, it will obviously turn them on. And it also acts as a lockout for the trailer brakes. So that way, the trailer brakes do not get engaged while you're in reverse. I'm not gonna use this. Um, the second one here, uh, this blue wire, that would normally go to your e-brake controller. We're not going to use that because our e-brake controller is wireless. So <clears throat> these first two we're not going to use. Uh, the white one here, that's going to go to a ground. And then the black wire here is going to go to our 12 volt. Uh, we're going to hook it up to the wire that we ran to the front of the car to the 12 volt battery. Uh, this connector here is basically just a pass-through for this four pin here if you so desire to use this later instead of the seven pin. Okay, so anyway, you're probably saying, well, wait a minute, what about the e-brake controller wire? How is it gonna get power to the proper pin? Well, here's a diagram of the pins. And basically, this device here, this wireless controller is gonna take power from your 12 volt, which is the uh, pin four here, and then supply it to the trailer brake pin two here. So we don't need to use this wire. This is gonna take care of it for us. All right, so let's go back over here to the car side and you'll see what I did here is I added another terminal here for a ground that I went ahead and routed out through this little grommet here. And then I just followed the existing harness down here and then comes out down here. So that ground is gonna get hooked to white wire here. So I'm gonna, uh, Return, put new terminals on these and I'll build them in such a way that you can't uh, hook it up incorrectly. And then also I got a 12 volt wire here. Now, how I got that? Well, we already ran one going to the, uh, uh, the tow package harness that came with the uh, trailer hitch. So basically all I did was tap off here and then have a separate wire going over here for the 12 volt. All right, so this is how I have it wired up at this point. Um, I tied back the uh, yellow and blue wires since those are not to be used. And then I put uh, connectors on here in such a way that you cannot uh, hook them up incorrectly. And then I got the, uh, the seven pin here. This is actually gonna end up residing on the trailer hitch. So I'm gonna build a bracket for that. And then anytime we use this, we'll just plug this in underneath the car. There's just simply no room underneath. Uh, to accommodate something so bulky. Um, and then also got my uh, tester in here for the seven pin. Um, I don't have the wireless controller in here yet, but let's make sure that uh, everything else works correctly. So we'll go ahead and uh, try the, uh, the signals and the brakes at this point and see if uh, that signal is passing through the seven pin connector. All right, so here we go. Um, I hooked the fuse up um, in front where the battery is, and so this shows that we got our constant 12 volts uh, going to the connector here. Now we'll try the signals. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Then brake. All right, looks like everything's working. And while setting it up, uh, this little light under here goes flashing blue, and then when you get connected, it goes to green, so you know that you're set up. Um, this little light uh, right here, the BK, this is your trailer brake here. And uh, when I hit the uh, button on the phone, uh, this light does illuminate, and the intensity for which it illuminates varies on what my setting is for the trailer brake. So 
this is a very good indication that it's working properly. So anyway, that kind of wraps up this. Um, I'm just gonna have to shore all this up, clean up the wiring, uh, reattach the bumper, and then once we get it all back together, we'll actually hook up the trailer and uh, give it a try. One other uh, quick thing to mention that I forgot, um, when setting up this app, it will at some point ask for a pin. It's, also, it's on the back of this card, and if you lose this card or don't have it, that same pin number also exists on the bottom side of this lid here, so you can always use that. All right, and the yellow wire, I just went ahead and uh, fastened it to the back here using some electrical tape over to the other side. And the controller ended up uh, putting on the flat spot right down here using the double-sided piece of tape. All right, we got the bumper back on. Um, we still need to put the tail lights in and uh, the liner. Um, and then I did take out the panel on the bottom side of this and uh, it just fits right up in here. So I got the regular four pin connector right, to, right here and then the extra two wires that we're gonna hook up for the trailer brake right here. So let's go ahead and put this panel back in. Just fits in like so and then you turn these a quarter turn All right with the panel back in you can see uh, we'd never know that you even have a hitch okay now to prevent any water intrusion into the car I'm gonna take this uh, tacky stuff here and then I uh, just kind of fit it around these holes so then when we push it in it'll make a good seal um, the reason I'm doing this is uh, I did have a charge port door replaced uh, by uh, Tesla Service, on, and they worked on that side, and they did exactly this. And uh, I noticed this side didn't have, of course, he wasn't on this side, so I, I think they probably did that for a reason. So uh, just for good measure and extra safety, I'm just going to go ahead and put this tacky stuff on here, and that will definitely prevent any water intrusion. Right, uh, so I don't have to put any holes into the bumper. I decided to get another one of these access plates and then just modify it. And then I can mount the bracket to, to the spare plate and then cut a hole in it for access uh, to the trailer hitch and the wires and that sort of thing. Uh, then when not towing, I can just pull this whole thing out and then replace it with the complete panel. So from the center here, we measured uh, two inches out and three and three quarter inches back. So before we clean up this plate a little bit, uh, let's test it and uh, make sure that it's going to fit in here properly. See if the cutout size looks about right. There we go. Alright, I think that's going to work. If we look at it here, we have access uh, to the toe where the tow hooks go in, and of course the uh, hitch should go right in there. So now what we need to do is mount um, the seven pin right here, probably put a hole here somewhere for the wires to go up. So let's continue.
All right, so now we'll go ahead and cut out a little hole here uh, to run this uh, this cable through. Um, looks like about uh, three quarter inches about right. Um, so we'll drill a hole right here and then just notch out a little place uh, for these wires to go through. All right, so hopefully this will work. Let's just check it out here. So that'll come through here like that. Okay, so hopefully we can split this apart just enough to get that in. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, uh, now we'll mount the side bracket, which will contain the uh, four pin. All right, I ended up using the two long screws uh, to mount the, the main bracket uh, to the plate. And then I just cut these, uh, the extra length off of the Dremel. And uh, so we got the wire ran through right here. Um, I hooked up the accessory here on the side that uh, contains the, uh, the four pin. So that will just pull off. And we can use a four pin or a seven pin. So uh, let's uh, put her into the car and see how she looks. All right, uh, once again, um, I'm just hesitant to cut any wires off that I'm not gonna use just in case uh, I do wanna go back and use them at some point. So I just tied the yellow and blue uh, back on uh, to this uh, loom here with uh, a zip tie. And so these are the only connectors that we need to hook up. So uh, let's go ahead and give that a shot and see how she looks. All right, the only trick is uh, first, uh, be sure that you undo the lock and uh, put the hitch in and everything before you try to put the plate in. And uh, anyway, this is the end result. All right, uh, overall, I think this turned out pretty well. Um, next thing to do is actually hook up uh, the tow dolly and uh, the trailer brake, the wireless system, and give it all a test. However, today's uh, weather is pretty poor. It's raining and windy outside, so I think I'm gonna wait for a little better day and call this video quits. But I'll definitely create another video uh, showing how all this works. So anyway, till next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.